Early years. Frank Percheld was born on April 1, 1927 to a German, Danube Swabian, family in Budapest and brought up in Kishpest, then a suburb, today part of the city. His mother, Margit Barreau, 1904-1976, was a seamstress. He began his career as a junior with Kishpist AC, where his father, who had previously played for the club, was a coach. He changed his name to Frank Puskas. He initially used the pseudonym Miklos Kovac to help circumvent the minimum age rules before officially signing at the age of 12. Among his early teammates was his childhood friend and future international teammate Josef Bozik. He made his first senior appearance for Kishpist in November 1943 in a match against Nagivarati AC. It was here where he received the nickname Oxy. Kishpist was taken over by the Hungarian Ministry of Defense in 1949, becoming the Hungarian Army Team and changing its name to Budapest Hanft. As a result, football players were given military ranks. Puskas eventually became a major, Hungarian, or Neji, which led to the nickname the Galloping Major. As the army club, Han used conscription to acquire the best Hungarian players leading to the recruitment of Zoltan Zibur and Sondor Coxus. Puskas helped the club win five Hungarian league titles. He also finished as top goal scorer in the league in 1947-48, 1949-50, nineteen fifty and nineteen fifty three, scoring fifty, thirty one, twenty five and twenty seven goals, respectively. In nineteen forty eight, he was the top goal scorer in Europe. Career Puskas joined Real Madrid and at the age of thirty one embarked on the second phase of his career. During his first La Liga season, Puskas scored four hat-tricks, including one in his second game, against Sporting de Gijón on September 21, 1958. In the game against UD Las Palmas on January 4, 1959, Puskas scored hat-tricks in a 10-1 win. Puskas also played a further 39 games for Real in the European Cup, scoring 35 goals. He helped Real reach the final of the 1958-59 European Cup, scoring in the first leg and in the decisive replay of the semi-final against Atletico Madrid. In subsequent European campaigns, he would score a further three hat-tricks, including one in the 1962 final against Benfica, which Real lost 5-3. In 1965, he scored five goals over two games against Feyenoord as he helped Real Madrid to the 1966 European Cup final. Real won the game against Partizan Belgrade but Puskas did not play. Spanish National Appearances In 1962, Puskas became a naturalized a Spanish citizen, and subsequently played four times for Spain. Three of these games were at the 1962 World Cup. In Spain, he was known as Canyoncito Pum, the booming cannon. Appearance for Madrid Autonomous Team On October 28, 1963, 
Puskas appeared in a game for the Madrid football team at the FFM Trofeo Barras de Oro, and he scored two late goals in a 4-0 win over Andalusia. Appearance for South Liverpool In 1967, at the age of 40, he appeared in a fundraising friendly game for South Liverpool, the English non-league side, in front of a 10,000 strong sellout crowd at the club's Holly Park Stadium. Managerial career After retiring as a player, Puskas became a coach and managed teams in Europe, North America, South America, Africa, Asia, and Australia. In 1971, he guided Panathinaikos of Greece to the European Cup final. Puskas helped the team secure one Greek championship in 1972. However, with the notable exception of his spell at Panathinaikos, Puskas failed to transfer his success as a player to his coaching career. Despite his wide travels, his only other success came with South Melbourne Hellas, with whom he won the National Soccer League title in 1991, as well as an NSL Cup in 1990 and two Doherty Cup titles in 1989 and 1991. While managing the Australian club, one of his players was future Australia and Celtic manager Angie Postecoglou, who has spoken of the influence Puska's all-out attacking approach had on his coaching style. Puska's returned to Hungary for the first time in 1981 and in 1990, he made Budapest his home again. In 1993, he took charge of the Hungary national team for four games, including a 4-2 friendly victory against the Republic of Ireland in Dublin, where Hungary came from two goals down to eventually beat their opponents. Later Life and Death Puskas was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2000. He was admitted to a Budapest hospital in September 2006 and died on November 17, 2006 of pneumonia. He was 79 years old and was survived by his wife of 57 years, Erzabet, and their daughter, Aniko. In a state funeral, his coffin was moved from Puska's Frankstadion to Hero Square for a military salute. He was buried under the dome of the St. Stephen's Basilica in Budapest on December 9, 2006. Quotes, you can only kick with one foot at a time, otherwise you fall on your arse. Frank Puska's.